every nation has a message to deliver, a mission to, to fulfill and a destiny to reach, and the mission of India is to guide humanity, stated Swami Vivekananda, and that cannot be more true than today in a multipolar world where India is viewed as a country that is en route to super pardon. A very good afternoon to the respected chief guest, chairman, respected madam speaker, members of the jury and members of the house. I am Kandal Vanambui representing the district of Aizol from Patsuma University College. What is super power? We may ask ourselves that. Super power in political terms means a state that has preeminent power. A state, generally speaking, which is economically and in terms of military advanced than others. In the bygone eras, it was used to refer to the United States after the world wars. But now today, we use superpower to identify a country like India. And the power of a country can be measured in terms of two yardsticks. The first being the hard power and the second being the soft power. Now let us delve deeper into these topics. What is hard power? Hard power refers to the robustness of state. Hard power is the power that comes from the tangible development of a nation. That is its defense system, its population and such criteria. And India today has the fourth largest military troop in the world and India is also the largest troop contributor to the United Nations peacekeeping missions. In terms of economy, India is the sixth largest. And in terms of population, India is facing a new window of opportunity in which